Today I am a good witch. <laughs> it is October 31st, 2021. Oh, check this out. Some of my favorite things. I've had this for, for ages. <laughs> oh my god, I love Halloween. It's like one of my, it is my favorite holiday. It is. Well, besides the winter solstice and the summer solstice, but Halloween, I mean, my God, and there's candy. Today, as you have gathered by watching the introduction to my video, dare I do this video? Oh, my God. It, it was with great skepticism, and it should be, and I, I know you're going to come at me, or some of you might, making this not assertion, I'm not making an assertion, I'm just saying the possibility of Vladimir Putin being the reincarnation of Adolf Hitler. My guides told me this, and or at least that's what I thought I heard, and I kept on arguing about it, but then I started looking at the pictures, you know, like I do, and there is some resemblance there, which I am shocked. I did not think that at all. I do see similarities in in their lives and their personalities in some ways, though they're different, very different at the same time, just in terms of temperament, I, I believe. But both of them came from working class families, fathers were abusive, and mothers were overly protective of them, and there's a lot of conflict. I did a video on Putin. If you want to go back and check, or I, I'll put the link underneath in the description box. And there's a lot of other similarities, obviously, as well. Putin is very Hitler-esque in some ways. I'm using the Cyril Marchetti Tarot for or Gilded Tarot for the reading, and then I decided today on the special day of Halloween to do an oracle reading with a card from the Sacred Earth Oracle deck. This is by Tony Carmine Salerno and Leela J. Williams, artwork by Helena Nelson Reed. It's a beautiful deck. No surprises here. Subject card is the devil. <laughs> Just evil incarnate, and I don't think anybody could really argue that either Adolf Hitler or Vladimir Putin is not the devil incarnate. It's not evil incarnate because they, they both are. The cards above, I decided to use three. I asked my guides for permission because I wanted clarification. The first card they gave me was the Five of Swords. And this is the card of the narcissist. This is the card who gets pleasure out of the misery and suffering of others. This is the, the card of, of someone who rules by the sword. But this rule is based on death, destruction, aggression, war. They gave me this clarifying card, Knight of Swords. So everything, both Hitler and Putin, 
get regard in, for power to increase their power is by attack, by usurpation, by expansionism. Hitler wanted to take over the whole world. He went into Poland and went into France and at, 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 you know attacked uh, via Japan. I want to say the United States, or that was the collusion between. Uh, Germany and Japan and you know just wanted to take over the world through expansionism of uh, with 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 aggression with might and force and uh, Putin same thing exactly the same thing with the Ukraine and he he wants to he, he's a little bit well a little bit different really he he, he gathers allies too like Hitler Maybe it's similar, like the like the GOP, like the Republican Party, and like the the right wing parties in France and in England and in, in Germany and all over the world to aid him in this aggression. But in the end, he th this card is the emperor. So both Hitler and Putin want to rule the world. They want to be the emperor of the universe. The emperor, if they could, it would be the whole universe. So they were. They are the ones who are dominant. They, no matter who assists them, they they their desire is Hitler's desire was to be the the emperor, the dic, the, the the dictator of, of all, and, and and Putin has that aspiration too. And, and, and that's definitely how they both perceive themselves. And you could say it's the emperor reverse, the very negative manifestation of the emperor. In the past, the tower, of course, this is Hitler's bunker uh, committing suicide with his wife, Eva Brown, two days before the Russians were going to invade Germany. And... This is also bringing down democracies in the Western world. This is bombing of Dresden. This is war that killed millions of people. This is the death camps that killed millions of Jews and other uh, uh, um, people. This is destruction, but it brings down the edifice. Every effort brings down and destroys the the edifice of society and that this is intentional because the desire for Hitler was that tear it all down and then you rebuild it in your image he did a lot of that too yeah so this is definitely death camps here Putin this is also his involvement in the January 6th coup and I truly believe that Everybody was taking orders from Putin on that day. And there were Russians there. There were Russians who came in and helped invade the capital and helped strategize it. There really were, according to the FBI. Below, this is the Ace of Swords, and this is purely war. The, the motivation card for both of them is to use war to gain power use might to overthrow the st the standing world order to implement their rule in the future for Hitler or the end really this is representing the end of his life his ultimate future was death not just his death but the death of his dream the destruction of the German, his German Empire, his Reich, with the Allies, the Western Allies coming in and taking control over Germany and freeing France and and by extension Japan's defeat. Of course, that's a whole other story with the with Hiroshima. For Putin. This, this is his future, being brought down by his, his swords, by his, his aggression. 
let me ask my guides here how that's going to be. I meant to do it before the video, but I forgot. So let's see. So my guides say this is Putin being bought down by the oligarchs. There's going to be a point in time when Putin is perceived as weak, maybe because he's physically sick, maybe because of his failures also, because everything he promised, although for a period of time, like putting tr Trump in power and saying that guy's going to get us everything we want, the sanctions are going to be dropped, and yeah, there were things that they won, but ultimately he didn't really come through, and they're losing a lot. And then there's also the pandemic for Putin. He used the media, not just in our country, in the Western countries, but in his own country in, the, in such a way as to, to make people doubt the, the efficacy of, of the vaccine and, and to believe that COVID was a hoax and he he really or I should say the KGB whoever is well Putin ultimately but his people you know created Q and that, that's been a vehicle for misinformation to turn a, a good portion of not, not, a, not a majority but a portion of our country against the United States but it, it's backfired on him because now there's a lot, there's a, uh, I don't know if it's a majority, but there's a big portion of Russians that don't believe in COVID as a threat and refuse to take the vaccine. And they are not controlling their pandemic there very well. And that's because, because of their own corruption of, of their media and, and their distribution of misinformation. Go figure. My belief has always been that Putin has used the virus as a weapon of bioterrorism. And it's ingenious because you, you use the people of the country against themselves. They become vectors. They become the, 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 the weapon, the bioweapon that causes genocide so you don't you don't have to spend money on weapons or um troops the coronavirus he i'm not saying he created it i just think he was opportunistic with it so that it really fulfilled that for him and is creating continuing to create genocide in our country which he and he was able to he, yeah he, he was able to manifest that but he, you know he, he he from 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 far away and it is evilly brilliant how do how do you when you're a small country you have a small economy how do you puff yourself up to be this emperor and economize at the same time? You use the coronavirus. It's handy. It works. And it's continuing to spread and to mutate. So that I truly believe Putin is, is behind all of this misinformation that has led to this continuing tragedy, taking advantage of people's fear, people's gullibility taking taking advantage of the social social media the way that facebook is assisted where you know the algorithm is oh this person likes this let's give them more of that until it becomes their only reference sometimes to what they think is real it's disgusting and it, it it's i believe it equal to the genocide of of Hitler, if, if if you look at it worldwide and what it's wrought, in some ways, <laughs> I'm not talking about death camps or any of any of that, but it, it, it does create this 
this genocide. The intent, if not the actual numbers or whatever demographics, it's the intent here. The clarifying cards, death and the Wheel of Fortune, this is both Vladimir Putin and, and Adolf Hitler, who are the purveyors of death, who bring death and destruction into the world, but who are stopped by the changing events in the world that bring them down, that they, 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 they have this rise to power, but then there's dissent in, or the, the, uh, the waning of power. And this definitely affected Hitler, the way that the world organized against him and brought him down. And this is going to also be effect, in effect for Putin. He, he rises on events in the world. On uh, He has this waxing of power. And then I think, believe he's kind of here. He's kind of on the wane right now. So my guides say the outcome is judgment. This is interesting. They're saying that Hitler and Putin both were wake-up calls to the planet who, to wake up people to the fact of, of the evil that has been festering. And the result is the unification of, of the world to stamp out the evil. And, and, and both Hitler and Putin's incarnation comes on this, this frequency. So it's like Hitler and Putin are both kind of boils that come to the surface and then globally, globally the world's immune system realizes they're going to do something about it. It's something we've done. Uh, it's not coming from uh, external sources. It, 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 it's, it's waking us up to how messed up it is and what we've got to do to fix it. So when it gets to this point for humanity, everything is very polarized. And it's this emergency time where we have to really get it together to make some very specific decisions on how we want to be on this planet so we can exist on this planet and we don't destroy this planet. I asked at the end of the reading yesterday when I, when I was asking my guides about the card, if I could have some cards on, not how Hitler and Putin are similar, but what are their differences? How are they different from each other? Because we reincarnate time and time again, and but we come in with a different horoscope. We come with a, a different flavor or a different type of personality. Or if it's similar personality, it comes with a just a, 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 a different... Yeah, I, I, I'll say a different flavor. Uh, and they gave me these two cards. So Hitler, they represented with the the King of Wands. So he's very willful. He is in control via assertion of will. That's ultimately how he gains his power. He's extraordinarily will extraordinary willpower. But he's also brought down by his willpower. And he becomes controlled by his desires, by his appetite. And, you know, for Hitler was a drug addict. And he is brought down by his extreme lust for power to the point where it, it's untenable. Putin is described as the king of swords. So here we have Putin very detached. He is somebody who is laser focused on like playing a game of risk on world politics but he's he has no he's not in, involved or engaged with compassion love 
or, or any f feeling except this need to see where all the pieces are, see who the players are, and then play, play them like a game of chess. And that's his strength. And, and he doesn't let love get in the way of anything, even his closest friends or his paramours are not, they, they, they are like, like, I don't know if anybody's been watching Succession on HBO, but kind of like Logan deals with his children and, and, and his lovers and his, the people in his life. They're all, it's all transactional. They're all playing a role. He may appear affectionate to them, but really he doesn't allow himself to have that, what he considers weakness of attachment. But my guides say that's going to bring him down in the end because as I said earlier, as he's he's in, in a, here, he is in a position of strength. But as he becomes weaker, then there's not going to be very many people around him, like the oligarchs or the uh, his loyal soldiers, that are going to really care about him in the way that he might have. I mean, there's always one or two, right? But Putin is going to be brought down by those he's trampled over. Who may have to hide their resentment, have to hide their humiliation at the way Putin treats them because you know you got to do that to stay in power but it, it doesn't mean that it's not churning inside them so he hasn't really fostered loyalty where it's going to count when he, he gets weaker so for those of you who are, are real historians and and do know the history of Adolf Hitler and also perhaps Vladimir Putin I would love it if you could in the comments below talk about how you feel they're similar and different and if you think that this resonates possibly and i know people are going to come at me because it's kind of outlandish to say that possibly that adolf hitler is the reincarnate i'm sorry that vladimir putin is reincarnation of hitler but that's what my guides kept on insisting that's what i heard so i, I decided this would be a great halloween video because it's spooky and scary i can't imagine people except for um Donald Trump, Ivanka, and the whole family, like the Adams family, being more scary than Adolf Hitler and Vladimir Putin. So I am going to now shift the focus onto our Oracle card. And the Oracle card that the guides give us today is balance. Spiritual meaning. Challenge helps you face and overcome fear. The challenge is a blessing that will in some way make you stronger and more resilient. Open yourself up to the light of the world. Draw it into you. Be empowered by it. And channel it into your environment for the benefit of all. Face all that comes your way. Trust your ability to make change for the greater good. Balance. At this point in the video, I want to say I'm available for personal readings. I read anything on the past, on past lives, anything in the present, past, present, future. I'm a medium and I love to introduce you to your guardian angels. There's a musical inter interlude to follow. The uh, musicians are credited below in the description box, but I also started to accre uh, credit them in the at the beginning of the video. You guys take care. Have a great time tonight if you're watching this on Halloween. I love you. I will be back next week. <laughs> and uh, uh, my love to you all. I love you. Bye-bye.